Welcome to Irie Chat, a show where we travel, talk, and vibe with people around the world. We're in Austin, Texas to meet with blues musician and local artist Jackie Vincent. We're having brunch with Jackie at Easy Tiger Downtown, a hip hangout spot with a bakery cafe and a creekside bar. Jackie Vincent, welcome to Irie Chat. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing awesome. Uh, I heard that 2020 is going to be a big year for you. Not only do you have new shows, but you have new music coming up. You're working on a new album. Do you want to share a little bit of what's going on this year for you? <laughs> I have a ton of stuff going on this year. The most recent announcement, because some of it I can talk about, some of it, some of it it's too early to talk about. You know, I don't want to talk about it and have everybody forget. So, yeah. so for now, what's going on is... Uh, I'm releasing a new single, Make Me Feel, and uh, that's going to be coming off of my record, Vintage Machine. And that's going to come out uh, this month, and then I'm also going to go on a spring tour starting in March. Like at the end of March, I'm going to start at uh, Eddie's Attic in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. So, oh, nice. Yeah. Well, it's actually called Decatur, I think, but okay. it's really close to Atlanta. Yeah, near, near it, near <laughs> it. You know how it is. Yeah. Well, I know you're so awesome here in Austin that there's even a Jackie Vincent Day, which is yeah. a name, you know, a day named after you. So, how does it feel to have a day named after yourself? It was, uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually on May, it's May 22nd, I believe, or no, May 21st, May 21st, and uh, it's pretty awesome. It's like, uh, it's kind of like having a key to the city or something. It's just really cool to get love from the community that you grew up in, and that's really, really what it means. It's. Um, it's really special that Austin does that for, for its musicians and its people, you know. So do you do anything special on that day? you treat it like a birthday or do you, <laughs> like, do you do any shows? I usually at least mention it to people. I'm like, hey, uh, need I remind you? <laughs> it's but Jackie Vincent It's Jackie Vincent And um, <laughs> I do that sometimes jokingly, you know. Because yeah. really, like I said, it's really just about the love and the community. And the actual day is just a symbol of that. And, and that's really what, what means so much. Since you like tour a lot, you know, abroad, do you have a favorite venue that you like to go to when you are... When I go abroad? Yeah. So I really just like playing at uh, festivals whenever I go over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is there a particular festival that you like performing at? There was this festival in the Netherlands called Ribs and Blues. And like literally you just walk around like and get buckets of ribs and it was blues bands. Nice. Yeah, and you just eat ribs all day and you listen to blues music. And there was like, I'm not even kidding, like 50,000 people there. It was really packed. You know, if I had a day named after myself, that's mm -hmm. something I would want to do. You want to have a ribs and blues festival ribs on Ribs and day? blues festival. Just, that's what everyone should do. On it's that. literally what it's called. It's called ribs and blues. Like with the ampersand sign, I like love ribs that. and blues. I and need to like, start that event or something. And those are the only two English words on the flyer. Everything else is... Yeah. It's just really funny. Like, it's just like, ribs and blues! And yeah. it's like, I can't read the rest of the flyer. I'm like, okay, cool. I guess that's what they took away. Yeah, yeah. They, somebody came to America, and that's what they went back with. They're like, okay, I went to America, I observed the culture. Ribs and blues, I'm yeah. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, like, they just boiled us down to ribs yeah. and blues. And you know what? I ain't mad about it. Oh no, I love it. That's I, what we're known for. I'm, I'm, if that's what we're known for, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Oh, so, a few years ago you came out with, I uh, love the album, the Live at the Strange Brew album. Oh yeah. But since then you've been releasing a lot of tracks to help your um, follow, or your fans to follow your music. But then yeah. last year you came out with Joy. Yes. And then you're working on the album this year. Oh yeah. So what's the change all of a sudden? Oh, what's the change? Um, what do you mean? Uh, well, you've Why been, am I coming out with albums yeah. instead of singles? Yeah. Well, because I'm I'm actually doing both. So I came up I came out with Joy mm -hmm. because an album is a complete thought and it's really nice to be able to release a complete like thought of music. Mm -hmm. It's really really nice to be able to do that. So um, 
and it's just really really nice to be able to have that to my name it's like I'm like I always try to stay zoomed out as much as possible because I don't like getting lost in the weeds of life because like you know you know how like a big problem that a lot of humans have is that we worry about stuff that doesn't matter and we waste our time our precious time worrying about stuff that's out of our control yeah. doesn't matter isn't what we think it is you know like you see a headline and you think the world's terrible but really the headline was just sensationalized yeah. and now your whole day's ruined just because you misunderstood a headline yeah do you know what i'm saying or yeah. just because you got fooled by a media outlet or something yeah or like maybe your whole day's ruined because you saw something on the news that was just really like a like we get lost in that yeah. and, and we just have like we let things get to us uh -huh. and so to, in, an, in an effort to fight that phenomenon as a human, I zoom all the way out all the time. When I start feeling myself focusing on, fixating on something, I'm like, Nuh. zoom out. And I'm like, what do I want when it comes to, like I'm sitting in my rehearsal space getting ready to practice something, but I'm also thinking about the big picture. And I'm like, what exactly am I really doing this for? And it's like, I want to have a collection, I want to have a body of work. I want to have a body of work. When I leave this planet, um, I want there to be just like so much freaking music out under my name. It's like you couldn't even listen to it at all, even if you tried. Yeah. Infinite music. Just like so much freaking yeah. music. Like I don't think I could. I would have to really try to listen to all of the Beatles music. Yeah. I would have to really try. They have yeah. like 700 songs out, man. I'm curious. Like they have like 15 albums. Same with Prince. Same with Frank Zappa. Like. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> I want like so much music that you can't even listen to all of yeah. it. Yeah. And um, so I release albums. I release singles. Wanderlust came out in uh, in October of last yeah. year, and um, that was just a single that wasn't a part on mm -hmm. of any project. Um, I'm getting ready to come out with this new project, but I also started a side project where I remix my own music. So I'm going to be coming out nice. with a Joy remix album in the yeah. summer. Yeah. I'm really excited about that one. Oh. I know there's a special group out there called the JV Squad, which oh, yeah. is a Facebook group. Yes. Um, so, or for your fans to join. So, for those who aren't familiar with that group, do you want to explain what the JV Squad is? So, the JV Squad is the only place that you can like talk to me and like know that you're talking to me and not just to somebody who's responding for me. Yeah. Because I have to get people to respond for me because I have a. I've recently gotten my page up to about eighty thousand followers. Nice. And sometimes they ask legitimate questions like, hey, are you coming to my city? Hi, um, what time does your set start? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, where can I like buy your album? Hi, is there any way I can like donate money to you? Like they like yeah. say stuff like it's like really pertinent and important yeah. to the career and to their experience as a fan, right? Mm -hmm. And so I need those questions to be answered, but I can't be spending time on my phone all the time like answering messages, I can't yeah. do that. So for that purpose, I get people to respond for me, as me. Mm -hmm. However, the JV squad, um, I respond as me. Nice. And you can go and post on the wall, and you can ask me questions, and you can, and I will respond. And um, I thought I made it a closed group so that it wouldn't be chaos. Mm -hmm. It's only for people who really want to join. If you want to join, you have to go and you have to press join. Basically, um, I think I'm describing a fan club. <laughs> The old, the brand new concept of a fan club. Yeah. Brand new. It's never happened before. <laughs> so yeah, it's my fan club. Yeah. Long story short, but you asked what's the purpose of it? Yeah. Communication. Yeah. Well, Jackie, we're at the end of our show. Is, is there anything I haven't asked you that you want your fans to know? Well, I just want everyone to know to just be following me, uh, look me up online. I, I'm going to be touring a ton this year. I'm going to be going to the Midwest. I'm going to be going to the West Coast. I'll be in Colorado. I'm even going to like Idaho. So like I just I go. I'm gonna be in America mostly this year. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from Europe and focus on America. Focus on my own backyard for a second. And I'm gonna be all over this country. So just like go to my website, go to my page, join the Davy Squad, and uh, also check out my new music coming out this year. Awesome. Well, I look forward to it. But uh, Jackie, thank you so much for joining us on Irie Chat today. No problem. Um, as a token of appreciation. And also as a birthday gift, since I heard it was your birthday a couple yeah. of days ago, which is awesome. So thank you for spending like a birthday week with us. Oh, no, no problem, day. man. Good um, times. Thanks for the food. Yeah, but before we came here, we had an interview with comedian Marvin Hunter in Mississippi, and cool. I saw this awesome cigar box guitar, wow. which I thought it would be an awesome gift to give That's to awesome, you. That's awesome, man. 
and I it. even have a finger slide somewhere. Oh, I'll find it. I was excited about meeting you that I even got one for myself. So oh, maybe nice. we can try to rock out. <laughs> this is cool, uh, man. I'm so stoked about this. And thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, no that. problem. But again, thank you so much for joining us on Harry Chat today. And best of luck on everything. Thank you, too.